Hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. This is what we are going to be doing today. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a new composition. I'm going to call it Organic. I'm going to make sure the background color is black. Okay. Now I will create a new solid layer, new solid. I'm going to call it organic, effects, whatever. The color of the composition is not important. Okay. In this case, I have red. So I'm going to go to effects, noise and grain, fractal noise, which is going to be the key element for this tutorial. On the fractal type, we have many options. We have turbulent, we have dynamic, Max. We have many of them, just check them out. But for this tutorial, we are going to be working only with the dynamic one. Okay, so this is what we have as a base to build the effect. So we can modify the contrast attribute, as you see. I'm going to be explaining a little bit the attributes of this effect, so you understand better and later on you can modify them. So we're going to be working with contrast, brightness. The complexity will affect the focus. Let's say that the lower the complexity, the less focus we have. And the more complexity, and the more complexity, more focus or more detail. Obviously, this will affect the rendering time. We will use the evolution attribute to animate the effect. We'll use some keyframes later on. Then we can play with the opacity. Notice that the opacity is not affecting the solid layer, but the effect. Okay. We can also change the blending mode of the effect over the solid, which is red. Okay. Then we have the sub settings where we can modify more attributes. You see how the fractal noise is being affected by modifying the sub influence. Sub scaling too is going to affect it. This may all seem very random and very nonsense right now, but we will use them later on and you will see how it affects the final effect. The sub rotation, which we're going to be rotating the fractal noise. Okay. So now we're going to go to effects. Stylized CC plastic. We apply it and oops, nothing happened. Well, that's normal because what we have to do is like to go to the bump layer attribute and change it to none. And voila, this is what we have. Suddenly we have some sort of volume. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing with the light attribute where we have light intensity, which basically it shows the intensity of the light over the composition. Then we have the ambient color, which will affect the whole color of the composition. So up to you to select the color that you like. Then the light color will affect the highlights. You see, now it's very clear how it is affecting. I'm going to select something yellowish, orange, probably to create more contrast with blue. All right, then the light height, you see how it's affecting.
Then we can also modify the light direction. And then we'll go to shading. We'll modify the ambient. It's very self-explanatory. The diffuse. That will affect what in 3D we will call something like ambient occlusion, probably. I don't know if this will make any sense to you, but notice the areas that are being affected. It helps to add some depth. Then the intensity of the specular. Then we have the metal attribute that if we lower it, give us a more organic result. I'm just tweaking the attributes to get something interesting in the look. And then we have the roughness. So it's basically tweaking the attributes until I get something that has the look and mood that I'm looking for. So now, we go to the surface pump attribute and we're gonna modify the softness. Notice how it is affecting now the final result of the composition. To achieve a more organic look, the height also could be modified. And then something I'm not gonna really gonna use is the cut minimum and the cut maximum, but this is what it does. We are not gonna be using it in this tutorial. All right, so back to fractal noise and we're gonna start the animation. Make sure you're in frame zero. We go to evolution, keyframe, the stopwatch, we go to the last frame and we modify the value. Let's make it like one turn and, and a half, more or less. Okay, we see that they actually like the areas from the dust are showing a lot. So I'm gonna reduce its value. So it is not that obvious. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. Okay, now the sub settings. Sub setting rotation. Make sure you're in frame zero. Click the stopwatch, go to the last one, and I'm gonna modify it very subtle, like three, four degrees, not more. Because we want this effect to be very subtle. If we were to modify the sub scaling attribute, we will get a very different look. Also the sub influence. So back to where we were, frame one, let's make a preview. Yeah, looking pretty cool. Probably if we will have used a different color, 
we will have a more disgusting result, like probably something reddish or orange, you know, like resembling like blood or like uh, the brain or something like this. But so far, so good. We keep going. Now, notice that on the fractal noise effect, there is an attribute called invert. Okay. So by clicking on it, it's like, voila, we have something completely different. Now, what I'm going to be doing is basically I'm going to be tweaking all the attributes that we saw before in order to achieve a more accurate look. Okay, so it's up to you now to keep tweaking these attributes, especially on the CC plastic effect, so you can have something nicer. Obviously, one of the things I have to modify is the dust. I'm going to really cut down the dust to zero, so the darker areas are more black. Now, don't forget to check it out the sub-scaling and the sub-influence, because you will get a completely different result, like something very cool. You can also like animate them at any point. Also, something very cool you can do is add a colorama effect to it and change the output settings to something like a fire. Colorama you can find in a color correction effects, colorama, and change the output to fire and you'll get like really cool, really cool effect. So this is all for today. I hope you learned something new and this tutorial was interesting for you. If that was the case, don't forget to subscribe and check it out all the other tutorials we have. Thank you very much. Bye.